saw. He saw end time events. For instance, you saw the barcode that was going to be used for the mark of the beast, but he saw what back in 78? 1978. Before they had the barcodes. Yes. Why, what did it look like? Well, see, it's, it's kind of unique. It goes onto the back of your hand or on your forehead, and it's an invisible tattoo. It's completely invisible. You don't see it with the naked eye. You have to put it underneath the scanner that every place will have. Every place will have it at that time. But I watch it. It's like a barcode and QR codes all mixed together. And it goes on the back of your hand, on your forehead, and it describes everything about who you are, where you've been, what you've done, everything, what you're allowed to buy, sell, if okay. you can. Time is this um, Amazon. Amazon have, uh, have put on trial a machine that you just put your palm above it. The scanner will scan your veins and then register you. You and when you enter into the store, you scan your palm. And then when you take out all your goods and you when you want to leave the store, no need to pay money, no credit card, nothing. Just scan your palm again. All your money is deducted. You see? Very convenient, right? Don't need to carry a thick wallet anymore. You see? Where is this leading to? The mark of the beast. Inch by inch by inch is leading towards that. So there will be two options before us to worship the image of the beast or to worship the true living God. And what is the one thing, a one attribute in the center that will make you to yield to this or yield to that? Obedience. To whom will you obey? Will you obey the system of this world? Or will you obey the living God? No matter, even if it causes your life. This is where most Christians are going to fall. When it comes to make a choice between your life, either you live for the devil or you die for God, which will you choose?